Welcome back to the Crypto618 channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at Elk Finance How to Swap BNB for AVAX step-by-step -step tutorial. But before we get started, if you would like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Let's get into it. So, here's the situation. You've got BNB because you're on the Binance Smart Chain and you want to swap it for AVAX. Let's say you want to get into you know, some project or some uh, cool miner that you've seen and you need AVAX for it and you're thinking, well, how do I do that? So I'm going to show you how to use Elk Finance uh, to do that and that's what I'm currently using. So you, you can use some other ones which I'll show you, uh, but this one's specifically for Elk Finance. So let's have a quick look. The first one I want to show you is Rubik. So Rubik Exchange is what I normally use to do swaps. This is a multi-chain swap protocol. Now if we launch app, you'll be able to see directly. Let's go and let's pretend we're going to swap. So we're connected with Binance Smart Chain with our wallet. And then we select token. We're going to select Binance and BNB. Then we want to select the other token, which will be on AVAX. And then we can select AVAX here. So this is multi-chain. So let's type in, let's say we only want to put 0 0.0, I don't know, 1 for example, $40. You'll see that it attempts to do the swap, but then it tells you the minimum is 0 0.25. So you're thinking, well, I only really want to swap $40. I don't really want to swap more than that or you don't have enough. Let's say you did 0.3. So 0 0.3 is like $122. Yes, you're able to do the swap. So if you want to do larger swaps uh, to AVAX, I will do a separate video for Rubik, but that's how you would do it. But I'm talking about if you only want to do a small swap, uh, just to say you only want to put a small amount, transfer that over into another network, for example. How do you do that or another way to do that? And this is where we're going to talk about Elk Finance. So that's Elk, e -L -K dot finance. I'll leave a link below in the description. So all you need to know is you've got these two things here, Swap and ElkNet. This is the multi-chain, ElkNet, and Swap is just swapping within the chain we're on. So at the moment, I'm connected to the BNB chain, Binance Smart Chain, and you can see all the other chains that you have. Now, if you're not sure um, if how much is in the pools, you can click on, uh, come along here to the, the farms and also analytics, and you can check out at any time the analytics in case you don't want to do this swap unless you know there's enough funds in the pool. But I haven't seen any issues so far with it. So let's have a look. So we've got some BNB. Let's swap 0 0.1. Mm, should that be enough or less? We might do 0 0.05. Five. No, zero, five. Let's just swap $20 worth of BNB because I want to show you uh, how to do this. So there's always fees involved, be aware of that. But what we want to do is we want to swap, make sure we're connected, make sure that you can see how much BNB is in your wallet. And then you'll see uh, how much roughly that is. So we want to do $20, let's say. We are select token. We then want to select elk and elk is the native token. Uh, of this platform. Alright, so what it's going to do is it's going to give us some ELK on the BNB chain. So this is important. Uh, so we do this swap, we're going to we're going to lose a little bit, very small amount uh, for that fee to do the swap, but I'll show you what happens next. So we'll do the swap and then we confirm the swap. It tells us to confirm in our wallet. We're just now going to confirm in Binance Smart Chain. Now you can click on Add Elk to MetaMask. So you can click on that, okay, and you can add the token. Now I've actually already uh, added it, but let's see, we'll see if we can add it again. Okay, done. And then you can close this window. So you'll see here that the swapping is happening, uh, happening uh, and when it's finished, it will have swapped for the Elk. Now you can see it uh, looks like it's already done. See how in the account now it's showing up here where it says 12.51 elk and I have a little bit of BNB left. So it's swapped for some elk. So now what we want to do is we need to get it into AVAX and this is where the multi-chain. We go into ElkNet. Now it's important to know that this is in beta. Uh, it is more efficient. This is V2 and only do one transfer at a time until it completes only supports elk so this is the only thing you have this is why we just bought elk and the maximum elk is 10,000 elk so we'll do the calculations for that in a minute um, but there's 10,000 elk 
uh, and the minimum is five minutes between the transfers. So just before we do the transfer, let's swap back and see what 10,000 elk is. So if we just do BUSD and then we do elk and 10,000 elk is worth 16,241. So that's what it would be. That's sort of the, the maximum that you can transfer. But I'm not transferring that at all. I'm only transferring $20 worth, so not a problem. So you come back to ElkNet, and then what you do is you put a select how much elk you want to transfer across. So if we have a look, um, let's say we want to go to the two chain, so you're, where you're sending your elk over to the chain on Avalanche. So we're going to select Avalanche, which is AVAX. Now also what we can do, we can tick this box which says swap elk, like one elk for gas. So it will give you some gas which is AVAX on the AVAX and that's important because we need to be able to do transactions if you don't already have it. So if you haven't done this before I would select that and that will give you some more gas. Now we have to put an amount in. Let's just have a look at 12. You can see we just put in 12 elk, which is worth about 19.49, for example. Okay, and then uh, down here you can see the transfer fee is two elk. So how much is that going to cost? So one one elk is like a dollar sixty-two. So two elk is three dollars twenty. So be aware that out of your um, twenty dollars, three dollars twenty is going to be the fee. Now you might say, "Well, that's a lot," but remember, you can go up to like sixteen thousand dollars. But in this, I just want to do an example uh, of how to transfer. So you can just remember, if you would do it a different way, you still pay these fees. If I went through uh, Rubik, when I transfer a hundred, I'm still going to be the, the fees. Um, so let's do. Uh, let's go back and put in. 12, yeah, let's do 12 elk, avalanche, swap one for gas. We know that there's going to be a fee for that, so we're going to have a little bit less over here coming over. That's fine. So then what we want to do is we click on transfer, scroll across here, and then we confirm. Now what it does is it has a countdown timer uh, and gives you up to uh, five minutes for the transfer to happen. And down the bottom, it will actually tell you when the transfer is complete and you'll be able to click on it and have a look at your last transaction. So you can see now it's transferring 12 elk to the elk network. So you can see it's processing currently. Plus it's giving you a little bit of gas. Remember we selected this one elk for gas and that will give us AVAX in our wallet because there's no point in having uh, elk transferred over there with no AVAX because you won't be able to then transfer that out. Uh, you def AVAX is like like BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. You need BNB in your wallet so you can move other tokens around. You need AVAX in your wallet to move other tokens around on the Avalanche network. So what we'll do, we'll just wait for this processing. Usually it's pretty quick, um, but it can take up to five minutes. Once it's finished, you'll see that it goes completed, uh, like this one below I've done previously. Oh, here we go. So it says it's completed now. Now if we want to, we can actually click on this and open up in Snowtrace.io. This is the, uh, uh, the Blockchain Explorer for Avalanche and you can see that transactions happened. You can see how I had 12 and now I have 9 and those were those fees involved and there was a little bit of uh, transaction fee here. So now when I go back to here, what we want to do then is let's swap uh, chains. So we can see how most of our Elk's gone and we're on the Binance. Let's now switch over to the Avalanche and then switch network and you'll see this um, avalanche appear here. You'll now see that we have nine elk and we have a little bit of AVAX in our wallet, which is great. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to go to swap. So remember we want some more AVAX. So we've still got nine elk. So what we could do is we want to swap and we want to select elk. And let's say we want to use all of our elk over here. So we click on max. So we're going to swap nine elk and that will give us 0 0.193917 uh, of the AVAX. And that's our balance at the moment. We've got 0 0.02 AVAX, but we're going to have 0 0.19 AVAX at the end of it. So we first of all allow the use of elk. Which does cost uh, 1.78. 
So remember that it is, uh, you know, that's expensive compared to like Binance where it's like, um, you know, 13 cents for example. But it is what it is. We confirm that. Once that's confirmed, we will then be able to perform the swap. So we'll wait for that to confirm. Okay, so that's confirmed now. It's approved that. So we then click swap and confirm swap. Then we need to confirm this in our wallet. Confirm. Now, uh, if you, this is where you can add AVAX to your MetaMask if you haven't done so. So you can click that. And there it's showing this is actually wrapped AVAX. And now you can add that token if you don't already have it. And click cl close. Now as you can see, swapped 9 elk for AVAX. So now what will happen is you can see we got 0 0.2 AVAX uh, in our wallet. You can actually then click on a MetaMask and we're on the Avalanche uh, mainnet so you can see that. And in the account you can now see I've got 0 0.2 AVAX. And if we have a look <laughs> under the assets you can see how we've got uh, wrapped AVAX, ELK we have 0 and 0 0.2 AVAX. So that is how easy it is to swap from BNB to AVAX. And in fact, you can do it with some uh, different other coins, but just for the uh, purpose of this tutorial, I've just made it BNB. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll just to recap, all you need to do is make sure you connect it to the Binance chain connect your wallet make sure that you see a balance up here make sure you have BNB then what you want to do is swap BNB for elk and then once you've done that and you've put in the amount that you want to swap uh, you then swap that so now you have elk then the next thing you do is you go to the elk net and this is where you swap your elk for your target chain. And let's say you want it this time we're doing avalanche. You put avalanche and make sure you do the elk $1 for gas. See, at least you've always got gas. You do the transfer, allow it to complete. And then once uh, you come back in, you come and swap and then go back from Binance to avalanche, switch networks. And then that's when you perform the swap. And at that stage, you'll have elk. So you'll need to put in elk and then swap it for AZAX. You can do other swapping of coins, whatever coins are available in this pool, it'll tell you what's available. And then once you swap, now I'm a big believer in swapping over bridges because there's so many exploits that happen with bridges and uh, bridges take usually a lot of time uh, to process. And not only that, um, like essentially what's happening is it's locking up your coin on the network and then it's minting you a new coin on the other network. And then if you want to come back to the network, it's then going to uh, basically uh, get rid of the, the minted coin that you have. So it's going to burn that and then unlock, let's say, your BNB. So the problem is that stores all that BNB on the network that's locked up and then if things go wrong, it gets hacked and you could potentially uh, lose your funds that way. So that's why I don't like bridges. I'm trying to avoid them as much as possible and this is why I put this together. So this is a really simple way uh, to, to swap over BNB for AVAX. So if you have any questions about this uh, tutorial, please put them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, and if you would like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. If you would like to support the channel, just click on support the channel here and you can jump into our Discord. We've got a private Discord that you can join at any time. Uh, this is where we discuss upcoming projects. Uh, we do live streams every week, giveaways, airdrops and whitelist spots. Uh, and also you can subscribe to my newsletter. Just click on this little button here. This will take you to the website, which is crypto618.1. Just come up here and click subscribe, uh, put your name and email address in, and this is free for all the videos that come out. And also you can do the, uh, the premium content, which is private posts and my portfolio updates if you so desire. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video today. I will see you in the next video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.